It's like every week, it seems like. But uh, they got a really good defensive front, man. They have a great defensive scheme. Um, they've got some key players that they brought in, like Jadavion Clowney, uh, Roquan Smith, man, guys that are really good football players and have a really big impact on the games. Um, so, you know, we'll have our hands full, man. I think, you know, taking care of the ball, limiting the turnovers, and going out there and executing and being able to block these their front fours and the different blitzes that they throw at us are probably going to be what's uh, most important. Yeah. Yeah, just the execution, just going out there, executing play after play, consistency, all of those little things. Uh, this is. Uh, do you think you have any kind of a now? This is a different defensive coordinator, mm -hmm. obviously, than what you had when you were in Baltimore. Yeah. But knowing their mindset, does that help you at all in this game? Knowing what, how Harbaugh gets those guys prepared. Yeah. No. I mean, this group would definitely be prepared. That's just the way that organization gets down, man. Um, I know that Mike McDonald was under Wink Martindale for a little bit, so I know that there's certain similarities uh, in in some of their blitz packages and approach approaches to using personnel. So. Um, but, man, I think, you know, our coaches do a really good job of preparation, too. So They, yeah. they, they, don't, they don't blitz as much as uh, Wink, though, right? I mean, uh, not that I know of, so I don't, I don't think they do, yeah. Yeah, Wink was, Wink was heavy heavy on the blitz and mixing around different, all different types of stuff. So, yeah. How did you guys think you handled the blitz uh, on Sunday? Yeah, uh, well, you know, man, in some of our five-man rushes, I definitely think we could have done a better job overall, man. But uh, for the most part, you know, it was, it was okay, I would say. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was blocking Sam Hubbard. I was front side of the play, and uh, I could tell by the way Sam shed me that he kept the ball. So I just turned and watched. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. And I remember from uh, from my angle, man, I see him. Uh, I think it was uh, 55 at the time, maybe or visual, visual. Yeah, it was visual. Yeah, he. Uh, yeah, or was that 59 or 50? Yeah, yeah 59. 59. Yeah, yeah. So he like spins off. I see him set up the spin on 59, and then I see another number coming. I can't remember that number off the top of my head right now. He spins off of him. Carlos Dunlap is like behind him trying to chase him. He finishes in the end zone, hands up. Yeah, no, it was crazy, man. I was, you know, you don't see guys do stuff like that in, in the NFL. You know, what I mean, let alone college or high school, to be honest. So. What happens in the film room when yeah. a play like that comes on the day after the game? Now? Yeah, I mean, man, you know, a lot of times you just you sit there and, I mean, for me, I am I was always mesmerized man, by a lot of things eight did, man, just as a football player. It's crazy how he's able to take over games just with his, his ability to make plays with his arm, with his legs. I mean, it's crazy, like, just the demand that, you know, obviously a guy like that has, man. It's, it was crazy. But in the film room, I mean, we, we'd definitely be mesmerized by it.